This video is going to show you how you can add a rubric by either creating a rubric or adding a pre-created rubric to an assignment. So I'm going to actually edit an assignment that I've already made. I'm going to go, I could go either via the assignments tab and I can go onto the assignment that I have created or in this case I'm going to go onto the actual channel that the assignment is in. So there's two ways of getting there. I'm going on for the week beginning 12th of October and I'm going to view the assignment and at this point I can right click and I can edit the assignment. If you want to create a rubric for an assignment that you're setting up then you would set up the assignment as shown in the other video that I created. So this is an assignment I've already created and I want to add a rubric. Now I can either add a rubric that has already been made so say, for example, we made a newspaper report rubric and we want to use the same one. I can click on that and I can press next. And this shows you the rubric that we'd already made. Or I can cancel and I can make my own rubric, which is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to add a rubric. And I'm actually going to create a new rubric. So I'm going to click on create. I'm going to enter the title. So this is a persuasive letter rubric. And I'm not going to add a description. Now, different schools will use rubrics in different ways. And at our school, we have decided that we are going to, um, to begin with, we're just going to scaffold by giving them a learning objective that we want them to try and achieve. So I'm going to delete those columns that I don't need. And I'm going to change this to learning objective. And down the side here, I'm going to enter a type of learning objective that so might be punctuation. And I'm going to write my I can statement. So I can use capital letters and full stops in my writing. Now this would be agreed as your year group and this would be the same across all of the classes. Now if you're creating a year five rubric then this will be the one rubric for every child in that class. To add a new row of objectives we might use vocabulary and our I can is I can use a range modal verbs and you might want a third one which is editing. I can edit my work and make appropriate improvements. Now once you have agreed on your rubric criteria you're going to press attach and that will save the rubric that we've just made and I can check that rubric by clicking on it and it shows me what it's going to look like for the children. So this is the punctuation that we want them to use, this is the vocabulary, this is the editing, and we would close that. Now to update my um, assignment with the rubric attached, I'm just going to click update, and that will immediately save the assignment here. And I can see that I've got a piece of work which I'm going to mark against, so I'm going to make a separate video for marking against the rubric now.